Hello there. I would like to make a video about the Bolex H reflex camera with the flat bottom. This happens to be the H8 reflex, but the H16 is the same size and has the same features. The main thing is the flat bottom. This handle is by far better than a post handle. This one uses a cable that depresses the trigger and your thumb depresses the cable. The nice thing about it is that you can hold the top of the camera and you get a lot of stability by holding this looped handle and then turning it on with your thumb. It works really well. It's a lot easier than trying to work the trigger with your index finger holding on to a post that's set back a little too far. Sometimes the cable goes bad and when I got mine the shorter cable didn't work. But there's a screw in the bottom of the handle and you take that out and take the adapter off in it and this pulls right out of the handle and you can replace it. So what I would like to do is to do a lot of uh, very short takes with the camera following how my eye sees a scene. So, you know, it's like long shot, medium shot, close up, close up, close up, close up, close up, close up, medium shot, long shot. Sort of like that. And to do that with a lot of short takes, you have to do a lot of different things with the camera and that'll give me a lot of practice <laughs> doing those things. I tried listing them on the computer and I typed out 20 steps to follow. You know, from taking off the lens cap to opening or closing the reflex viewfinder and so forth. So that's what this video is about. It's sort of like a college class uh, on how to use the H-series reflex cameras. I hope it helps. Alright, the first thing that I do is take a light meter reading. Now, I'm outside on the back porch and the bright sun is within reach and it's shining from the right side and if I look left, that'll be the view that the sun is shining on. So my procedure is to hold the light meter in the sun as if I were standing far away pointing at my camera. The high slide is in, so I got 320 minus one block. I move the red pointer so I don't forget what the reading was. And I, that's marked now, 320 plus 1. Then I move the 320 to the red H. And what ASA? To 25. And this camera at 16 frames a second is 155th of a second which is that orange line, so it's F16 minus one-third stop towards F22. That's barely enough to fit onto the lenses, but it'll still work. That's the first step. Figure out the exposure. So F16 over there. Well, indoors I can actually see the viewfinder screen on the video camera. Now, I said that I got F16, so I have to decide now on what lens to use. Let's say I'm going to use the normal lens, 
the 25 millimeter, and in this case the 12.5 millimeter is your normal lens. So I will take the lens cap off of it. That's the lens I'll use. I want to double check that 16 frames a second is set on the camera. And it is, right there. I want to turn the camera motor on here. I've learned to turn it off so that I don't accidentally expose any film when not in use. Now the camera is not wound because I keep it in an unwound state. So I don't know what number this is, but it's not number one. Okay, the lens cap is off, 16 frames a second are used. I'm going to wind up the camera. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's it, twelve. So I'm going to hold the camera and I'm going to set the lens with this little clicky bar. I'm going to move it so that I can see the orange line on top. Go to F16 plus one third. So that's F16 plus one third. Now we open the lens. I set the focus. When we're done, we close the lens like that. It goes right back to the same place. So I open the lens and then set the focus. The focus is set by opening the little gate in the reflex finder. This lens is in the position where you could look through it because it's the reflex camera. So you look through the eyepiece here. Before you could use this correctly, you have to set the diopter. And I've already explained how to use the diopter. But you loosen the knurled ring, and then you move the one that has the screw in it to where it focuses. To use the diopter, you have to rotate the turret so there is no lens in front of the mirror. And then you look through the eyepiece and you focus the ground glass to the sky and then you lock it with the knurled ring. I've already done that. So I'm going to set the focus on the lens outside. I'm going to use the lens at infinity. So I turn it so the orange is already past the 60 and it's on infinity. Then I close the lens. So there's the focus when I turn it all the way to infinity. Then I close the lens. Next thing I do is select the 12.5 millimeter lens on the side viewfinder and set the parallax to infinity. That changes the angle so that what you see through here is what you get in the camera. This is closed at this point and not used any longer. If while you're filming and you're using this, light gets in through the eyepiece, it'll fog the film. And the exposure will be incorrect. And when you close down the lens, especially when you close it down so far, you can't see through here anyway. So it's not used. That's why you have a side finder.
So after making this shot, I give it a number. This is side two, number eight. Left, off the back porch. Ba -ba 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 porch. Exposure, bright sun. Light meter was seconic, high scale, and it was 320 minus one, minus one block. It was 25 ASA, 16 frames a second, 155th. F16 minus one third to 22. 12.5 millimeter lens. Oh, and uh, infinity. And of course, it was handheld. So, the other thing that I will write is the footage off the camera. Uh, so, it is at 10 feet on the footage counter, and the frame counter is now at 1301 frames. 1301 frames. There's 8,000 frames uh, per 100 feet. There's 80 frames per foot, so that's 8,800, 8,000 frames. And the f footage counter goes 2,000 frames, and then it repeats, repeats, repeats. So you have to watch when it hits that 2,000. So you don't get confused and you lose track. I did not run the camera all the way down so it will need to be wound more. There isn't enough left to make a full shot. But that's the procedure. If I'm not going to film for a while, I'll lock the camera and turn the, disengage the motor. So now I can't accidentally uh, expose any film and I'll put the lens cap back on. This stays closed so the light doesn't get in and make a flash frame. And that's the procedure for shooting with a reflex camera. You do that over and over and over again. And I'm not comfortable with it yet. But I like to make videos about how to do things and this will help me and I hope it helps somebody else. Okay? So comment if you have something to say and uh, I enjoy reading your comments and answering any questions. That's all for now. Bye.